Here are 10 different outfits for 10 different occasions. Let's, Let's go. go. Starting off with the job interview. On the top half, we have a lovely black blazer, white shirt, and a black tie. However, as you can see, this is where the party starts. But for a more serious in-person interview, you're gonna wanna wear something more like this. So as you can see, Ali's got on the blue pinstripe suit. Pairing of a lovely salmon pink shirt and a pop of colour with an Hermes tie. <coughs> this is going to give off more of a vibrant, gets your personality out there a bit, with the blue and the pops of colour. And if you do want a job, do not wear that to the interview. Other than that, lovely suit. Fun fact for you guys, if you've got a trip coming up very soon and you're trying to get that little upgrade to business class, wearing a suit might help. However, for all you broke boys out there that need a cosy fit, i got the exact same for you. Don't worry guys, I'm broke too. And here it is. This is the airport fit. You gotta remember, when you're at the airport, comfort is key. You might be waiting two hour delay, three hour delay. You don't wanna be dressed like my guy over here. He's not gonna be comfortable or anything. But I will get business class. Right, it looks like you ain't ironed in a year. Iron deficiency is a real problem, people. If you are iron deficient it's out true. there, please it's start true. taking it's some iron tablets. It's tablets. true, it's true. Um, number three, you just touched down in London, and you're going to your first concert. But you don't know what to wear. Don't worry, we've got you. Now, the main things to remember when you're at a concert is you're gonna get sweaty, you're gonna get pushed. Somebody is definitely standing on your crest. So we've decided to go for the all black fit. Of course, on feet, you gotta have a pair of trainers. You're not scared to get beat up. We've got a simple pair of cargos, a bit breathable when it gets a bit hot. And then on the top, we've got the bomber jacket, but then you can also whack that off when it gets too hot and you can just go with the best. You need a mosh pit. That's Ali mosh <laughs> Number four, I went to my first concert, it was amazing. I met a girl there and now we're going on a date. But what do I wear? Well, this is not it. However, this, so up top, obviously you gotta go with the leather jacket. A leather jacket is an essential item in your wardrobe anyway. But to have something like this on a first date, it gives off a bit of suave, you know? Now moving on to the trousers, we've gone for a simple pair of black jeans. And then on feet, we've gone for a simple pair of trainers. These are like a nice all black pair of trainers. You don't wanna go with anything too formal, like a boot or something. Cause it's a first date, man. You wanna keep it casual, you wanna keep it chill. And then we just paired it with the plain white tee. Cause you don't wanna go all black either. You wanna have some kind of contrast in there. <clears throat> and for the jewelry, we always recommend you keep it light. You don't want to be wearing too much bling around them. You might give off the wrong impression that you're trying to be too flash. And also, if it's shining too much, they might be standing across you like, I can't see your face, the jewels, they're shining too much. Ah. Definitely do not do that on the date. But, uh, <laughs> What's up, pretty mama? Let me take you out of dinner. Let me buy you a house. Let me buy your mama a house. Ah. Brother, ugh. Number five, me and my boy are hitting a club, but you definitely cannot wear that. Go change. Fair enough. This isn't your traditional club outfit. However, if you want to stand out and get some then this is the fit for you. Start off with a leather jacket, which could easily be taken off in the club. Underneath, a nice t-shirt, which is just plain black. Going with some smart pants and some smart shoes. Smart shoes are key, otherwise you're probably not going to get in the club. You had a great night at the club. However, you've got uni in the morning and you're probably not going to be wearing this or this. Here are two fits that you can wear. As you can see, I'm wearing a massive hoodie with massive sweatpants because I'm hungover and I don't want anyone to see me. For me, I'm going for something a little bit more stylish. When you want to get your personality and your style across at uni, but obviously you got to keep it chill. You're going for a nice pair of cargoes and just an oversized jumper. Again, this only applies to you guys if you go to your lectures. Which you guys probably don't. Number seven. It's a family event. You gotta go. You don't wanna go. What do you wear? As you can see, we have a nice brown jumper with some brown pants with a brown long jacket. Once he takes this nice piece off, it reveals the brown man. Steve Jobs. Whenever you go for a family event, you want something which you can layer with. Every one of your family members will think, wow, I have raised such a fine boy, especially if they're Indian. And then you take it off and they think, wow, what a <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Number eight, you've left the family event. You might have had one too many pukore and just start to look down your belly. And that guy is starting to look like an uncle. It's time to head to the gym. Enter Slim Shady. This is my usual gym fit. I just like Eminem. However, if you want to wear something more normal, you can look something like this. And this for me is more of my go-to gym fit, man. Like this is just like an old hoodie that I've worn over the years, dirty as hell. And the shorts. Now I've got to tell you a story about these shorts. They used to be tracksuits. <clears throat> but a little bit of home DIY, cut off the bottoms, and I've repurposed them. But you know what's better than going to the gym? What? Going to the football. Number nine, you're at a football match. If you ain't wearing your favorite football team jersey and a pair of superstars or sambas, what are you doing, bro? You're comfortable, but at the same time, you don't really care if a pint spills all over you. Come on, Arsenal! <clears throat> If all match is done, you gotta go meet the family. I ain't talking about just any family. I'm talking about your girlfriend's family. Vibrant colors is exactly what you need. Something that screams, oh, I'm not Voldemort. <laughs> Something that screams, I'm friendly, I have character, I have personality. If you're thinking about wearing all black, don't. Parents' family are gonna hate you. In-laws. Them too. You never know what your parents' family might be up to. In-laws. Them too. <clears throat> First impression, First impression makes like a head of impression. impression. 
Yes, yes. Go on. And don't do any impressions. And this has been Friends. And some fashion. We think. Hopefully. Peace. See you in the next one. And that's a cut on set. Oh, no! oh, that took so long. So hungry.